Initializing the Nanoscope or NanoDrive software from the AFM workstation will simultaneously launch the Nanoscope Analysis program, which runs in the background. Images can be processed on the instrument computer or transferred to a separate computer for analysis at a later time, while the instrument is offline. Nanoscope analysis comes in a 32-bit and 64-bit version, and it can be run under Windows XP or Windows 7. When the interface opens, the user can define the workspace area for one image or two using the Span and Unspan commands. The Browse Files tab expands to provide a thumbnail view of each file from a selected folder and allows the user to select and open that file. Each Nanoscope file can contain multiple data formats. Additional files can be opened in the same pane or in a second pane for side-by-side -side comparison. Some image files may require flattening operations to remove scan artifacts that cause variations in the data from line to line or across the entire field. This is often useful before making measurements across regions or multiple lines in the topographic map. The History tab provides the user with an option to go back and forth through a series of processing steps to view the changes. The Undo command also reverses the action previously taken to a point that the user may prefer to keep before making different choices. Once operations have taken place, the user may save the displayed images and the processing steps for later use by selecting the Save Workspace command and naming the workspace file. Recalling the file restores the work area and the history of all the processing steps previously taken. Sometimes it may be necessary to process numerous image files using a set of sequential operations with multiple steps or repetitive commands. The user can perform a sequence of processing steps on a typical file, and the steps will be recorded in the history cache, as shown here. Opening the Auto Program dialog window reveals the recorded commands from the history cache. The sequence can be saved to a file name and then opened again, restoring the command steps into the Auto Program window. Clicking the Add button allows the user to select a new file or set of files to be processed through the program sequence. Select a directory location for the results to be filed, along with any desired reporting options. Then click the Run button to execute the operation sequence on the selected files. The resulting report files can be opened to view the tabulated calculations. After leveling the image, we can generate statistical topographic data using the Roughness command, which provides multiple expressions of the pixel height averaged across the entire image or within defined areas. The user can also selectively exclude areas of the image to eliminate anomalous features. Images that have distinct boundaries between regions or structures can be subjected to statistical processing via the Particle Analysis command. The user can select features above or below a point in the depth histogram and move the cursor to select the threshold limit that defines the features of interest. The Modify tab allows the user to alter the selected feature dimensions. The Select tab limits the selection to features within the image boundaries or to count specific features.
Force curve files can be opened for offline review or processing. The baseline correction operation can adjust the original measurement offset or tilt. Use the movable cursors to select the desired section of the curve for correction, choose the data plot options, and then execute the operation to force the curve to the zero reference value. Use the line plot display to measure the sensitivity of the deflection axis. Move the cursors to mark the boundaries of the linear portion of the ramp and select the fit model. To measure the adhesion force, set the active curve to retract. Zoom in on the pull-away point if necessary and move the cursors to either side of the pull-away point. The difference between the y-axis values reflects the adhesion force between the sample and the probe tip. The user has the option of changing the displayed plot units to reflect the force or deflection distance. Data points from a force curve can be saved to an ASCII text file via the export command, which is available from a pop-up menu when the user right-clicks on the curve display. Opening the file reveals the file header information along with the force and z distance points separated into columns. Force volume image files can be opened in Nanoscope Analysis to display deflection or adhesion data according to the user's requirements. Use the cursor to select various locations in the image to display measurement data from that point. The offline parameters list allows the user to select between separation or deflection display modes, to align the display curves to a common reference point, and to enter values for deflection sensitivity, spring constant, or other parameters as required by the modulus model being used. The user may also decide to include or exclude adhesion data or to limit the display to the extension or retraction portion of each curve, as well as changing the minimum and maximum boundaries of the force curves. Display options include selecting data from single points in the image, or to overlay multiple points for comparison, or to display curves from multiple points within a defined region. To export force data to an individual file, use the Save Curve button to select the destination. To gain more in-depth knowledge about the analysis software, use the Help command from the pull-down menu bar to open the online user manual, which contains explanations of each command and operation in the program.